article just in the New York Times just this weekend that spoke to this issue directly. The transfer of wealth from boomers to millennials is in motion, okay? And it's going to be the greatest wealth transfer in history. Many boomers are going to leave behind, you know, just maybe a home or a couple thousand dollars to their families. Like that's probably the majority. While others are leaving their heirs hundreds of thousands or millions or billions of dollars, okay, in various assets. And what is the difference between the groups who are being able to leave their heirs huge, huge amounts of assets versus those who are leaving a more modest um, amount of assets? The boomers who benefited the most from decades of price growth in real estate and financial assets were in general white, already rich, or both, right? And so the economic times have only made the rich richer and the 1% continue to gain wealth, right? While the rest do not. And so largely because of systemic racism that has excluded everyone else from growing that same very wealth, okay? So we need to change that, right? The wealth gap continues to widen. It is not getting smaller, it is getting bigger. And so Hello7, my company exists to shrink it. This is what we are here to do, all right? We are not statistics. These stats are very frustrating, they're sad, and it feels like you're fighting massive institutions, right? And it is, it is kind of disheartening. It's the government, our institutions, our culture that marginalizes everyone but straight white men. Um, But we are not statistics. So if you choose to be here today, you are already ahead of the game, right? Because you are investing your time in learning and surrounding yourself with people who will lift you up and you're doing something about it. And that's exactly what I'm doing as well. So that's what we're here to do, okay? This is not about a get rich quick scheme. This is about creating a plan for real social justice, right? And real equity. And I think entrepreneurship is a true path to building wealth for people who come from nothing. All right, so, and I am one of those people, just so you know. So today, right, you see a black woman investor, a business coach, the CEO of an eight figure company and the author of a best selling book. And I've been happily married for 15 years. I have a chef, I live on a 50 plus acre ranch. Like there's a lot of nice things happening in my life right now, right? But that is not where I come from. Um, Just a decade ago, a little more than a decade ago, I had a 400 credit score. Okay, 400 is not good, if anybody's wondering. (laughs) I didn't even know it went that low until it did, right? Um, I had a net worth of negative $300,000, okay? My net worth was not zero, it was far below zero, $300,000 plus below zero, um, coming from student loan debt, and uh, no network, no professional network, Um, And I was on public assistance as well because I needed help, right? So I was an IP lawyer and though I was running my own practice um, for about six years, it it just, it wasn't enough. I was unfulfilled, but I had two degrees, ambition and the desire to become something more, okay? So um, in those early days, when I first started my practice, I really struggled financially to like get things moving and get things more comfortable. And so that's why I needed help during that time. So then I met Yvonne and Yvonne was um, one of my first business coaches and she did not mess around, okay? Like I would be, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit afraid of her. (laughs) But she taught me that making my business my hobby was not helping me, okay? Like having hobby vibes around my business was not going to create success. And she really, with tough love, showed me that I was playing myself, right? And that's why I wasn't making as much money as I wanted to be. So throughout my journey from six figures in debt to eight figures in revenue, I've had to learn all of my lessons the hard way, okay? Um, I have done everything the hard way, and I don't want that for you because I know it has already been hard enough for you, right? And I wanna make it easier, and that's why I'm giving you the blueprint today. All right, so here's what you might be experiencing right now. Maybe you're making less than you could be and not focusing on the right moves. Um, and maybe you're feeling financially stuck and your hustle has become more of a burden than a business. Um, maybe you don't know how to get to your business, your business off the ground and build momentum from the start. Maybe you need an injection of momentum into a business begging for more fuel. OK, no matter where you are, I want to encourage you to stay until the end of our time together today, because what I'm about to teach you is worth every minute of this time. All right. 
Um, and stay to the end because I'm going to give you one of our most sought after resources called Million Dollar Requests. I'm going to tell you how you can get this resource. It is a comprehensive collection of scripts and templates that tell you exactly what to say to get what you want. OK, <laughs> there are scripts you can use with potential clients. Um, over email, over the phone, all the places, right? These scripts alone have helped people make thousands upon thousands of dollars, and I'm going to give it to you for free. Um, you just got to stay until the end of this class to learn how and why wouldn't you, right? Because I'm about to teach you how to get this money. Um, but listen, I don't want you to take my word for it. So here's some proof. Here's the word on the streets. <laughs> so these are two of our clients that use the scripts, right? Just finished a sales call using one of the million dollar request scripts had to be the easiest sale ever. Also loving my new sales process. Thanks to all the similes that gave me great tips. Okay, so million dollar request scripts. Bianca says, I use script number four, the million dollar request booklet. And not only did I get a new client, but he paid me in full. I am sold. All right, so just this resource alone will help you get to 100K in 60 days. Okay. All right, so I got another bonus for you, which is hot seat coaching. So at the end, if you stay to our uh, to the end of our time together, I'm also going to bring up three folks who have business related questions for some hot seat coaching. OK, so ask me anything about mindset, sales, operations, whatever you want to ask me about. The floor will be yours. Um, you just have to stick around till the end. OK, and if you want to be coached by me, just make sure you drop your question in the Q&A. OK, in the Q&A section. Um, at the bottom of your Zoom screen. Ask a question at any time throughout this session, all right? And my team is gonna be gathering them and they will choose three people to come up and be coached on, like I said, sales, marketing, how to figure out your offer, whatever it is, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. And if your question is selected, I'm gonna ask you to just say, my question is, right? Keep it tight, keep it focused so that we can make the time as valuable as possible for everybody here. So I have taught thousands of clients how to make money, all right, quickly. All right, faster, because, you know, the faster it comes in, the better. And so, um, again, here's some more word on the streets. So this is one of my clients, Tia. Um, she is the founder and CEO of Selling Off of Social. She joined the club in November 2021 with no business or not even a business idea. And she crossed the 100K mark in less than 12 months after registering her company. OK, um, Stephanie joined the club in May of 2021. And she now makes in a quarter what it took a whole year to make previously. OK, she also manages her husband's business and incorporated a lot of this work into that as well. And that business broke two million dollars in revenue as a result. Um, here's Gloria, right? In 2021, she made thirty nine thousand dollars. But after joining the club in March 2022, her revenue increased to one hundred and ten thousand dollars. And just in the last four months, she's already made forty nine thousand dollars. OK, and Krista, she started in the club in November and was making around four hundred and fifty thousand dollars in revenue. So she was already pretty far along. Right. Already. She's anticipating being at 900,000, if not a million dollars in revenue for 2023. Her words, when Rachel Rogers says, we shall be millionaires, I listen. <laughs> so we share these stories because I want you to know that this is real. This is not a pretend thing. We're not pretending here. These are real results that are available to you as well. And so I wanna show you examples so you can see evidence. I'm a lawyer, right? That's what I used to, <laughs> that was my old profession. So I like to provide evidence so you don't have to just take my word for it. You can see that it actually works. OK. All right. So I did my first challenge in 2010. OK, so I did my first 100K in 60 days challenge in 2010, and it seemed like a wild idea at the time, but I had a big belief and a lot of resolve. And what I learned in the process has stayed with me to this day. So back then I was an IP lawyer. I started my law practice in September, September 1st, 2010, out of necessity. Um, the 2008 recession made it very difficult for law graduates to find a job. So we graduated with six figures in loans and no jobs available, right? And so I had to go out on my own and become an entrepreneur. One of the best things that ever happened to me, because if I wouldn't have had that happen, I wouldn't be here today, right? So I started my own practice and this was the early stages of my business. So I really had to hustle for those clients, right? And I made all the mistakes. I was undercharging for my services. I didn't know anything about marketing or sale selling. I did not have a mailing list. I didn't even know you were supposed to have a mailing list. I didn't know what a mailing list was. <laughs> 
I had no idea what I was doing, right? I was just winging it. And then on top of that, six months into starting my practice, I got pregnant and I needed to come up with enough money to take a three month maternity leave. Okay, so I was pregnant with my first child. So about a month before my baby was due, I set a goal to earn an extra $3,000 because I needed that $3,000 in order to go on maternity leave, right? To cover my rent and to cover my expenses while I was taking time with my baby, I needed three grand, okay? Because my rent was only $800 a month back then. I lived in Phoenix at the time. The rent was cheap. It was not a great neighborhood, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> And so I decided to teach a class, right? But I didn't have a mailing list. I had no social media, right? No network. I had only a Twitter account, right? So no network, no mailing list, no social media fans. I had a hundred Twitter followers. Anybody relate to that where like you got no mailing list, you got no audience when people are like, promote it to your audience. What audience? I don't know what you mean. <laughs> Anybody been there? Okay. Um, Cause that's where I was. I had a hundred Twitter followers and they were mostly like other lawyers that I just became friendly with on Twitter just from talking to them, right? So for 30 days, I decided I was gonna go hard. And so I, um, I went hard to get people to buy this class. I created a course for lawyers to learn about virtual law offices because that's how I had gone solo was creating a virtual law office. Why? Because I couldn't afford a physical office. <laughs> and so I was doing this new thing. It was not common back then. It is super common now, but back then it was brand new. All right. And so I understood it. And so I was like, let me teach a class um, teaching people how to do this. All right. And so I went really hard getting people to buy this class. It was $97. I think I had a $97 version and there was like a $197 version. And I think it was just like, depending on if the person asked for a discount over the phone, not a strategy I recommend now, but I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. But it worked. I challenged myself and it worked. And I made $3,600 in less than 30 days and my return to leave was fully funded, right? And I was thrilled that I could use just knowledge that I had, skills that I had to make money happen for me, even without a mailing list, even without an audience, like without knowing what the hell I'm doing in terms of sales and marketing, I was able to figure that out. And once I realized that I could make money on demand whenever I wanted, like, forget it. This was my strategy. I used it so many times in my life. like. When I found out about this fabulous um, retreat to Italy that I really wanted to go on, but I didn't have the money, I came up with a promotion um, for one of my offers and made $7,000 in a week and paid for my Italy retreat, <laughs> okay? Then when I wanted to build a house for my family so that we could be more comfortable, but I needed a down payment, like I could afford the mortgage payments, but it was the deposit that was the issue. And so I decided to sell some VIP days and I made $50,000 in a few days. And I used that money to put a deposit down on the house that I wanted to build for my family. So let's recap because I really want you to get this, all right? So let's look at what we've already learned, right? We've learned, why learning how to make money quickly is an invaluable skill that you can absolutely learn, okay? Um, I've shared several stories, those from my own life and those from my clients. We challenge ourselves to make a lot of money in a short period of time, and guess what? It is totally doable, okay? Um, you've also gotten clear on what you're gonna use your extra money for. We've talked about that, which is very important, all right? So we are now primed, we're pumped, we're ready to go, right? We're ready to walk through the three important steps you need to follow to make 100K in 60 days, okay? Who is red deep? Who is ready? <laughs> Let me know in the chat. I need, I need to know y'all are with me, okay? I need y'all to get hype. Okay, good, all right, I see hypeness, good, good. <laughs> Okay, so here are the steps that you need to take to make 100K in 60 days, okay? So step one, you gotta get your mind right. It always starts with getting your mind right, okay? And we're gonna dig into that and talk about how to do that. It, it, step two is create your 100K offer. And I'm gonna walk you through the parameters and the principles that you need to follow in order to create a 100K offer. And then step three, you're gonna market and sell your offer, okay? so. Uh, you know, those are the steps, right? These are the foundations of making 100K in 60 days and building your business in general, all right? So these principles, once you know them, they will car carry you through and you will continue to use them. I use them today as I run this eight-figure business right now, okay? So that sounds doable, right? Does that sound doable, y'all? Easy enough? I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do each one of these steps, okay? So that you do it the right way and the fast way rather than the slow and cumbersome and exhausting way, <laughs> okay? So step one, you got to get your mind right, all right? So 
even if you are just starting out, have all the skills and talent you need, you have, sorry, even if you are just starting out, you have all of the skills and talent you need to make more money, okay? I need you to understand that. I, you don't have to be so experienced. You don't have to have 50 degrees. You don't have to figure all these things out first. You don't have to do all the research in the world first, right? You have the skills and talents to make money right now, right? Whatever amount of money you want or need. But before you can take any action, you actually have to believe, okay? Belief in yourself is the work required to get the bag, okay? That is step one. So if you don't believe it's possible to make life-changing money, you won't bother to take the actions that follow in the next three steps, right? That actually make it possible. You gotta clear out your mind trash. You know, all those stories of scarcity and unworthiness, all the junk that you tell yourself, because if you don't believe it, you're never gonna take that action, okay? And these this scarcity money mindset is not coming out of nowhere. Historically excluded people like us don't typically have generational money handed down to us, right? Remember that New York Times article and the US Census stat that I shared? That shit is real and it affects what we believe is possible for ourselves. And that belief that's sitting in the back of our minds prevents us from taking the action that we know could change our lives for the better, all right? So you have to slay those mental fires and believe you're worthy and capable of achieving this level of success. I remember in the early days of starting my practice, my husband used to be worried about money and he would be like, why don't you get a job at a law firm, right? Like, couldn't you make more money there? <laughs> and I would just tell him, listen, just stick with me, all right? Like, it's around the corner. Success is around the corner, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I would have to sell him on continuing to support me in this journey, even though it was a struggle. Uh, I felt like sometimes I spent more money on my business than I got back, right? And it was just, it was a journey. And I would say, stick with me, stick with me, just believe a little bit longer, okay? And you know what, y'all? I turned out to be a damn good investment, didn't I? <laughs> that investment panned the hell out, okay? And I promise you, you will too. You will turn out to be a good investment as well, all right? Um, so once upon a time, I also had all those doubts and fears that being successful and making the kind of money that I'd never seen before in my life, right? Like I had all those thoughts as well. But here's how I pushed past it. I started to bet on myself in a very big way, right? Taking risks, betting on myself, taking action. Instead of sitting in the fear, right? I just forced myself to just go take step one, right? Just go do it. Just go do step one and see if that can create some momentum for you, okay? So a million dollar story is a new story you get to write today about your business, your money, and your life. All right, so all the old stories, they gotta go out the window and we need to replace them with new stories that are motivating, all right? And, and let's talk about it. The truth is we make up stories all day long, every day, right? We tell stories about what's happening to us. We tell stories about what's going on in the world, all of it to make meaning of our lives, right? But most of these stories aren't actually true, okay? Many of these stories are harmful to us. So the reality is that the future hasn't happened yet. So any claims we make about what will happen in the future, we are just making up, right? It's like what we think our results will be are made up. So of course we can use the evidence around us to help us more accurately hypothesize uh, about future outcomes. But the truth is there is no guarantee to anything that you think is going to happen, right? So if we are going to be making up stories anyway, we might as well make up stories that encourage and empower us instead of making up stories that make us feel defeated and make us not wanna get out of bed, right? Doesn't that make sense? You may be making up stories of defeat in your mind all day long, you know, that this is incredibly harmful to your dreams. So if you're constantly telling yourself that your goals are impossible, that you aren't good enough, that you aren't smart enough, that you're a failure, these constant thoughts will directly impact your actions. And slowly but surely, these defeatist stories will actually come true because you believe them and you'll start to align your actions with them. OK, that's why it starts with belief. OK, so listen to this. Harvard psychologist Ellen Langer studied the effect of thoughts on hotel housekeepers, okay? This study demonstrates how our beliefs become reality, even though these women spent all day pushing vacuum cleaners, going up and down steps, bending and stretching, 67% said they got no exercise. Langer told half of the housekeepers that their activity level met the U.S. Surgeon General's definition of an active lifestyle. The other group did not receive similar information. Both groups just did their jobs as usual for a month. 
Langer's team measured the housekeeper's physical health statistics. At the beginning of the study, the findings matched the housekeeper's perceived lack of exercise. When measured a month later, the group that was told their job activity qualified as exercise saw a decrease in weight, waist to hip ratio, and 10% drop in blood pressure. None of the housekeepers had changed their routines at all. The only difference was in how one group viewed what they did. Is that not wild? The thoughts of these housekeepers change the physical, what's happening physically in their body. That's how powerful your thoughts are. They are changing what's happening in your actual physical body. It's not just something in your head, it's real. So according to Langer, if you believe you're exercising, your body responds as if you are. Is that not wild? Like that is incredible to me. Each of us tends to think we see things as they are, that we are objective, but that's not the case. We see the world as we are, or as we are conditioned to see it. Okay, so that is a quote by Stephen Covey. That's why using your million dollar story to tell a new story is so critical and using thought work is the way to get there. So when those negative thoughts creep in that tell you you aren't good enough, that say things like, who do you think you are, that make you feel like your dreams aren't possible, do not believe them. Okay, remember, that's just a bullshit story coming out of fear. So instead, say to yourself, self, we got this and we're about to do the damn thing. Okay, replace that thought with a positive thought that encourages you. And, and propels you into action instead of something that makes you feel absolutely defeated, okay? So that is step one. We gotta control this up in here, okay? <laughs> Get our mind right, okay? All right, so let's talk about step two where you have to create your 100K offer. So in order to make 100K in 60 days, you need to create an offer that will make it rain, okay? So, and you don't just need any offer. What you need is a 100K offer, all right? An offer that feels joyful for you to deliver. We're not relying on discipline. We want joy. It has the potential to make you an enormous amount of money and it gets your clients results. You need to figure out what your 100K offer is and then bring it to the marketplace, all right? And here is a hint, y'all. A 100K offer is the same as a million dollar offer, all right? So that's what I want you to know. A 100K offer is the same as a million dollar offer. They require the same principles. So let's talk about what those principles are. But before we do, let me tell you a few more stories because I like for you to have evidence, okay? So Jessica decided on her million dollar offer after lots of scrambling, okay? Three different businesses, lack of focus. Um, she launched that one offer and is getting clear results. Within one day of launching the offer, she had a bunch of new clients signing up and she shared the screenshot of all these folks signing up immediately when she shared her 100K offer or what she refers to as her million dollar offer, right? Stephanie has had a millionaire mindset from the beginning, okay? She left her job that was bringing in six figures because she believed in her passion. And with coaching from Hello7, she learned the value of her million dollar idea. And now she has a multi-million dollar offer in her hands, okay? So now that you know this framework works, I am about to teach you the principles, all right? So I am going to um, switch over to my iPad and I'm gonna share my screen here. So y'all should be hopefully seeing my screen. Yes, there we go. Okay, so is everybody seeing my screen? Let me know. And then, um, yes, okay, and you can see me drawing, right? Okay, cool, all right. So now what I wanna do is show you what a um, 100K offer looks like. Okay, what are the elements of a 100K offer? So the first element of your 100K offer is that it has to be scalable, all right? Um, what do I mean by scalable? I mean that it has to be something that has the ability to make you at least $100,000, okay? Um, maybe that's obvious, maybe it isn't. And honestly, even beyond that, I want it to be something that can make you a million dollars, right? So you can get to that 100K and then you can keep selling it and keep growing it, all right? So what is an example of something that would be scalable? An offer that is one to many, all right? So an offer that is one to many is an offer where you're standing there and get to say it one time. For example, if you had a seminar and you had 30 people in the room and they were all hearing you speak and talk at the same time, 
that would be a one-to-many offer. This is a one-to-many offer. This webinar that I'm teaching right now, right? Because there's a thousand of you on this on this session, and um, I'm one person, and you're all hearing me at the same time, right? I don't have to say it to each of you one at a time to a thousand different people, right? That would take me a long different uh, a long time. So that is a one-to-many offer. Another one-to-many offer would be like. Um, a physical product where you like print the mold for it and you can just keep printing more and more and more of them and deliver them. Okay. Um, a speaking gig could be a one to many offer. There's so many different ways to think about it. Okay. So a one to many offer, how can you deliver once on mass, right? A course would be a one to many offer as well. Um, consulting services can be one to many offer. Um, you know, as, as a lawyer, right, I typically offered one to one services, but one of the things that I did was create a retainer program where I could put a lot of my clients in it and they got the same um, package of services. Um, and so that was a one to many offer. So there's different ways to do it. Okay, so one to many. All right. Um, and then the other option is to do an agency model. And an agency model is where you hire people. So it could be like, for example, if we go back to the law practice model, right? Um, when I was starting out, I was a solo attorney by myself in my practice. And so it was just me and one client. I would deliver to one client, okay? And if I could handle 10 clients, that would be my max. And I could only take those 10 clients and I would not be able to make any more money, okay? Um, <laughs> so then I'm stuck. But the way that I scale a law practice is if I hire other attorneys. So that's what I started to do. I hired my first attorney, then I hired my second attorney. And before you know it, I had a team of three different attorneys, not in, in, with me as well, that's four attorneys. And if all of us could handle 10 clients, now we can serve 40 clients, right? And so that's the one, one to many model. And then another way to create a scalable offer is a hybrid of those two things. And that's what my company Hello7 is now, right? Where we deliver um, a membership community, a business membership community is our main offer. It's called the club. And so it's a one to many offer, right? There's, there's thousands of people in it and I am one person that is delivering to them, but I'm not just one person, right? That's why it's hybrid because I have a whole team of coaches and experts that also deliver to my community. Okay. So that's, that's the combo. Does that make sense? Okay. So the first thing is your offer needs to be scalable. All right. Your offer also needs to be rooted in your strengths. All right, so that means we're not going for the offer that we hate, okay? We're not going for, you know, sometimes people will come to me and they're like, what kind of business do you think I should start right now? What would be cool right now? What would work in this market or what would work in this industry? What's hot right now? And you know what I say to them? I don't care. It don't matter what's hot. What matters is what's hot to you, what's exciting to you, what capitalizes on your natural skills, your natural strengths, what capitalizes on your work experience, okay? I want you to build the offer around your skill set because that's the thing that you're gonna be able to scale to 100,000 and beyond, right? It's gonna be exciting and fun to sell it. It's gonna be exciting and fun to deliver it because you love it. For those people who just build a business because they think, oh, this is what I should do, right? And they do it then they hate the business, right? The same way you can hate your job, you could hate your business, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you could create a whole business that you don't want, all right? I'm sure there's some people on here who could testify to that. So make sure that you're building a business that is rooted in what you are great at and how you can best serve, okay? So for example, um, so one of the ways that you can find out what your strengths are is to take Strengths Finders, which is an amazing um, tool and assessment that you can take to like really understand your personality and your natural talents and skills and how you like to work, how you like to show up. So one of my strengths is influencer strengths, right? Like I love to speak publicly. I love to connect with a group. I love to connect with an audience. And so it's no wonder that many Many of the offers at our business at Hello7 involve me in front of a group of people, right? Or members of my team in front of a group of people as well, because that's one of our strengths, right? Another set of my strengths are in the in the area of strategy, right? Strategic. And so what do I do for a living? I solve complex business problems, right? People bring me their business problems and I solve them. And it's so fun and I love it. <laughs> okay. Just yesterday we were doing a coaching call around offers and I was uh, coaching members of the club on their offers and brainstorming with them and strategizing with them how best to to 
change the offer or sell the offer. And it's fun. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I have a great time on those calls. And that's how you want to feel in your business. Cause when you feel that way, you're going to have no problem selling every day. Okay. So that's one of the things that you need to do. So it needs to be rooted in your strengths. It needs to be scalable. Okay. And then it also needs to be in demand. All right. So like, just because you're having fun doesn't mean anybody wants to buy it, right? <laughs> so it has to also be in demand. It has to be something that people actually want. You have to solve a problem that people want to pay money to solve, okay? So I'll give you the example that I always give of video games, all right? <laughs> I know this is random, but um, so I heard about a business once, this guy who created um, this like course on how to beat this really, really popular video game that everybody played. Like maybe let's say it's Call of Duty or something like that. He like created a course on like strategizing how to play the game the best way, um, how to get to the highest levels, right? How to beat the game. Um, and you know, he was basically marketing it to like high school students, young adults, right? Who loved video games. Um, here's the problem. Those young adults had no money. Okay, and their parents were not motivated to buy them a course on how to beat a game, so he couldn't sell it right because it wasn't in demand. So even though the students wanted it, they had no money to buy it right at the price point he wanted to sell it. So that's an example. You want to make sure what you are bringing, you're matching your skill set with the actual need in the marketplace. That's an important piece. Okay. All right. So it's got to be something that is in demand. What is the last piece that you need to know? The last piece of your 100K offer, which can absolutely be a million dollar offer as well, is transformation. It has to provide a transformation for your clients. Okay, no matter what product or service you are selling, your clients are looking for a transformation. They want to be transformed from, you know, maybe feeling frumpy to feeling chic when they put on fancy, you know, the fancy clothes that you make. Okay. Um, if, you know, you, you, you might, maybe they want to be transformed from feeling like, you know, like just broke and like their environment is whack or whatever it is to feeling like a celebrity when they arrive at a five-star hotel, right? Um, maybe they want to transform from somebody who doesn't really understand how to grow a business to somebody who is very knowledgeable about how to grow a business, right? Um, so you want to provide a transformation. What is the transformation that your customer is going to go through when, when they buy your thing? It could literally be like the world's best sippy cup that you sell and you're transforming a harried, stressful parent into somebody who's like got the solution that works every time, right? And there's no dripping and there's no spilling and there's no drama, right? So whatever your product or service is, it must provide a transformation. So these are the elements of your 100K offer, okay? So that's one of the things that I wanted you to know. All right, there, there's one other thing that I wanna share with you here um, as we talk through this. And let me see, I'm trying to find my notes on this. Okay, so the other thing that I wanna do with you is, is what I call business model math, all right? So let's do 100K math. So what that looks like is, I want you to think about pricing and think about what you're selling, all right? So let's say you sell a $20 offer. Okay, so maybe you sell a book and it's um, it's twenty dollars. All right. So ooh, why is my thing not working? So you sell a book, 100 K in books. All right. And it's twenty dollars. It's a twenty dollar book. Well, how many of those do you have to sell to make 100 K? You got to sell five thousand. All right. Ooh, I don't know why I can't write y'all all of a sudden. <laughs> or you can make 100 K from a digital product. Okay, which is one of the things that I used to sell was a digital product and let's say your digital product is $1,000. Well, you need 100 students right you gotta you gotta get 100 customers to make 100k from that okay um, let's say you want to make 100k from uh, an event, maybe you're doing a live event an in person event okay um, and your in person event is $2,000 Well, you got to sell 50 of those. Okay, so um, and let's do let's do one more. Let's talk about my law practice, right? So let's say you sell one to one services that are you know expensive. All right, so let's say you know the average client in my law practice would be ten thousand dollars a year, 
and I'd have to sell 10 of those to make $100,000. I'm just doing some math for you because I want you to start to do that. You have this in your guide and start to use it as you think through what your 100K offer is gonna be. The lower you make the price point, the more you gotta sell. So it's not necessarily easier to sell because the price is low. Okay, sometimes it's better to sell a more expensive thing because you only need to sell one or you only need to sell 10. Right. And so I just want you to get your mind thinking about and listen, calculator should be your favorite friend as an entrepreneur. Okay, <laughs> the calculator is your absolute best friend. All right. So let me figure out um, how I can stop sharing my screen here because I want to go back to my slides. So I'm going to stop my share. All right. And I'll go back over here and share my screen where we left off. Awesome. Okay. So, um, and I seem to have lost some of my notes. Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, so we've talked about, you know, how you can create a hundred thousand dollar offer, right? All right. So let's um how do you cr create that hundred thousand dollar offer now let's move down to let's see i'm gonna skip ahead to sell your 100k offer that's step three is you have to sell your offer so now that you have your mind right right and you have your 100k offer it's time to sell this new offer and get this money so if you want to earn a few hundred dollars you can wing it sure but if you want to earn six figures and more you need a system all right you need a way to sell so i want to show you examples of what can happen when you have a system um, this is one of our clients, Annie Sanchez, who made $24,800 in three days using the Pony Post system that we um, include in the club to generate a bunch of sales via social media. OK, so that's what the value of a system is to sell. Um, in 2019, Caitlin is one of our clients who was a single parent living in Idaho. She started a PR and digital marketing firm. She ended her first year of business making $136,000. And then in 2020, she joined the club. In 2021, she had her first million dollar year. So literally 10 x her revenue in the space of two years. Um, Sandra is another one of our, our clients that made $19,000 in 2020, and then she joined the club in 2021. Fast forward to 2023, and she is projected to make $4 million this year, all right, in just two years, all right? So this is what can happen when you get the offer right and you have a great system for selling, okay? So, all right, so that's the slides that I wanted to share, but now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop my share again and go back over here and go back into mad scientist mode. <laughs> because I have something else I want to share with you. So I want to show you the marketing and sales system. Um, a lot of people think marketing and sales is hard, it's difficult, it's going to be challenging. No, it's not. It's really not that hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're making it too complicated. So I want to map this whole thing out for you so you understand exactly how to market and sell anything and how to create the system that is tried and true that will work every time. This is the system I used in the early days of my business once I figured this out. And it's the system I continue to use today. All right. I'm even using it right now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to draw out um, this system for you and you can follow along in your guide. Okay, so I want to show you um, a marketing system can be distilled down into three circles. All right, and you're going to see my drawing. It's so fabulous. Okay, <laughs> so don't try not to be so impressed with my beautiful drawing. Okay, so what do you need in these three circles? What do you need to create a 100k funnel to sell your stuff and make it easy and foolproof to sell your stuff. Okay, so the first thing you need is a lead magnet. Okay, so the goal is for people to opt in, right? Is people will opt in to your mailing list and you start building a list of customers that you can sell to anytime you want, all right? So your opt-in could be a white paper. Another very popular um, opt-in right now is an audio course where it's like just a series of short audios where you're teaching something. One of my clients did this recently and made a lot of money doing it. Um, it could be uh, a tool that you use, right? Like a script or a template or something like that. Um, it could be a discount on one of your services or products. Um, whatever it is, it's like, or it could even be a menu of your services or products that people will opt in for, but you want to have something to entice people to give you their email address. All right. So it starts with that. So you use the lead magnet and here's the thing too. Here's a tip. Your lead magnet should take people away from pain. Okay. Not towards pain. 
oh, oh, sorry, not towards what they want, but away from pain. So what is the pain that somebody is in who might want to work with you and might want to hire you? And how can your opt-in take them away from that pain? For example, for our customers, right? Some of our customers are in pain because they have a side hustle, but it's not making money. And so we gave them a, a guide to making money with their side hustle as our opt-in, right? And so that's taking them away from the pain that they're in. All right, so next what has to happen is you need a nurture sequence. All right, the lead magnet is just the start. So the nurture sequence is where you send a series of emails, let's say it's like five to anywhere from 30 emails that you could write that will be delivered automatically. And I'm gonna tell you what tool to use for this in just a moment, but case studies, okay, can go into your emails. Your personal story is something that you wanna tell. So you can connect with people. The more they know you, the more they'll wanna buy from you, okay? Um, tips, helpful tips to help with the problems that they have um you know uh success stories right tools they might use if you've been on people's podcasts or ever gotten press you could share that right maybe you have a recording of a speaking gig you did you can put that in the email series but just come up with five to 30 emails that you're going to send them automatically in this system all right and so the whole point of this is to warm them up make that connection it's like dating right you're dating your prospect and you're connecting with them and showing them how you can help them and how you can solve the problem that they have all right so now once that happens for a little while you're going to have what we call a sales event okay so what is a sales event it could be if it's a, a software product a demo it could be a sales call for your services um, it could be a webinar you could do a challenge okay um, or it could be a live event right and so you're going to invite them to this experience um, where they get the opportunity to become a customer all right whether it's a sales call it could be a webinar like this it could be a challenge it could be an event whatever it is all right so that's the conversion event um, and so if what you're offering is over 5k then you'll want it to be like a sales call or more of a one-to-one -one thing or or an event that's like more in person where there's more connection if it's under 5k you could do that like on a webinar or with a challenge or like one to many right you can sell to a group of people at the same time versus having one-on-one -on -one conversations okay is this helpful y'all is this starting to make sense on how this marketing funnel needs to work and then here's what you busy yourself doing once you create this it's work to create this, okay? So you're gonna put in a little bit of work to create this, but it's not so much work. You could get this done in a weekend if you want to, okay? And so once you do this, here's what happens. It becomes your automated selling system and you don't gotta work that hard to get sales calls booked, to get people to come to your webinars, to get people to come to your events, to get people to sign up for your challenge or your demo, right? And so then your number one job, here's what your job is that you're gonna do. You're just gonna drive people to this lead magnet, all right? You're just, your number one job is to get everybody to get this opt-in, all right? And so that could be from guest podcasting, okay? It could be from social media posts where you say, hey, grab my opt-in, right? It could be from press, like if you get on the local news, which is very easy to do, or write an article for a popular blog. It could be YouTube videos that you're sharing and telling people, hey, opt-in to grab my thing. You could run ads, it could be public speaking, where at the end of your speaking gig, you say, hey, grab this opt-in, okay? It could be Facebook groups. Um, you could start your own podcast, okay? So once you create the system, this is all you have to do. This stuff is all you have to do. It's not that hard, y'all. <laughs> this ain't rocket science, okay? All you gotta do is create the system. And once you have the system, it will work for you and help you make 100K in 60 days, but it will help you make 100K again and again, even after that, all right? So feel free to take a screenshot of this because I'm about to take it off the screen and go back to my slide deck, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm taking y'all all over the place, all right? Awesome, okay. So now I'm back over here. Let me stop sharing my screen here. Alrighty, I'm gonna share my screen one more time here. Awesome. Okay, so now we have gone through the main three steps, all right? So you gotta get your mind right is number one. Number two is you have to create your offer. And then number three is you have to create your selling system, right? You gotta sell your offer, all right? So let's talk about your 100K in 60 days plan. Here's what you're gonna do week by week. So you're here, 
every step, right? Let's talk through it. Number one, you are going to replace your broke ass stories with your million dollar stories. That's week one. Start writing down journaling on what are all those stories that you're telling yourself and reframe that thought. And there are different um, tables in my book. If you have a copy of my book, use that because the tables in my book will help you reframe those stories. Read chapter one of the book and that will help you with that. Week two, you're gonna create your 100K offer, all right? So brainstorm your offer, think about what that offer is gonna be, and then create it. And remember, if you're creating a course or something that requires a lot of content, pre-sell it. Sell it before you actually build it out. So when I say create your offer, I'm saying just map out exactly what it's gonna be if you don't have one already, all right? Have a Google Doc where you're mapping it out. Okay, and then create your 100K funnel. So you're gonna spend a week writing some emails, you're going to spend a week working on that um, lead magnet, right? And then thinking through how can I promote people to uh, promote this lead magnet as much as possible. That's all you have to do. All right. Just set up that that lead magnet and nurture sequence so you have a system for selling. All right. Notice how we're doing the prep work. We're not just going directly into selling. We're doing the prep work so that the selling comes way easier with much less effort and you actually see a lot more closed sales. Okay. Um, then you're going to market your 100K funnel, and that's where you're promoting it, getting on other people's podcasts, talking about it on social media. Talk about it at the grocery store. Wherever you go, you're going to talk about this thing, okay, <laughs> and get people into your funnel. Then you're going to develop your 100K sales event. So that sales event at the end, whether it's a webinar, it's a one-on-one -on -one call, whatever it's going to be, decide what it's going to be, develop that, plan for that. Then you're going to market your sales event. Hey, come to my webinar. Hey, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, Okay. And then week seven, you're going to deliver your 100K sales event where your sales are going to come in. You're going to make an offer to people. And then lastly, week eight, you're going to count your coins and celebrate because you just made 100K in 60 days. OK, so now is it the easiest thing in the world? Is it going to take no effort at all? Wrong. It's going to take some work. You're going to have to put some work in, but it is simple. And we have a principle at Hello7 to work hard once. Work hard once setting up this system and then it will make money for you again and again and again for years to come, all right? So that's everything. That is the tried and true steps to make 100K in 60 days. And if you're anything like me, you probably already have negative thoughts creeping in that are telling you, this is impossible for me. It's not gonna work for me. It won't work in my industry. It won't work because of the type of person I am. Whatever the drama is that you have, who here has it? Who here has some negative thoughts coming up at this moment? because I know they coming <laughs> and it's okay. There's no shame in it. Um, and I, this is why I shared a lot of the, my client success stories along the way, because I want you to know that this is real, right? This, this is happening for real people like you every day who just roll up their sleeves, do a little bit of work to get a lot of result for a long time. All right. So there is one thing though, that all of these success stories have in common. And the one thing I don't want you to miss, which is these people did not do it alone. All right. I didn't do it alone. I hired coaches. I joined communities. I attended business events. I got tons of support to build my business over these years. All right. And I even have a coach now who's teaching me how to go from eight figures to nine figures. Okay. So none of my clients did it alone either. Right. They had me, they had our coaching team. They had our powerful community of fellow entrepreneurs to support them. So I have a question for you. If you truly want to make a hundred K in 60 days, why would you go it alone? Why do it alone? when you can have support, why, why would you risk failure when you have success come so much more easily? All right, so let's talk about how to increase your odds of success with this 100K in 60 days plan, okay? Um, does anybody here wanna know how to increase their odds of success? Because I think that is a very important element of this, all right? Okay, so the American Society of Training and Development did a study on goals and achievement, and here is what they found. If you have a goal in your head, there's a 10% likelihood that you will achieve this goal, okay? So if we just set the goal, you will have a 10% likelihood of achieving the goal. That's what we did on this webinar. We set a goal at the beginning of this webinar to make $100,000, all right? So cool, check. But 10% is kind of whack, right? <laughs> like, what else do we need to do? Because I want to increase my odds. I don't like 10%. I want, like, more, okay? So let's talk about what, what else we could do. If you assign a timeline and make a plan, then there's a 50% likelihood of you achieving your goal, all right? So now we're looking better. We set a goal of 100K. We set a timeline of 60 days. And I just gave you an eight-week plan to make it happen, all right? So I don't know about you though, but I prefer a little more than 50%. 50% is cool, but I want like way more than that. Who else is with me, right? So we try to increase our odds. 
Should we see if we can get more of a guarantee that we will get the result, right? Because we, we want guarantees, okay? <laughs> we would have more of a chance, all right? All right, y'all are with it. You're like, listen, we gotta increase the odds. That ain't gonna work for me, all right. So if you have a timeline, a plan, and you share your goal with somebody else, you tell a colleague or a friend or a coach, then it increases to 65%. Okay, so we have the goal, we set the timeline, we have a plan, um, I've just shared this plan with all of you. We've, we're sharing it with each other. You've declared what you're going to do once you um, achieve those goals. So we're we're at 65%. That's not bad, but I still want a bigger percentage. I want to feel all but guaranteed, <coughs> excuse me, to hit my goal. And I think you feel similar. So let's have a guarantee. All right, let's talk about the big one. Let's knock it out of the park with our goals and be almost certain that we are going to reach them. So let's see, what do we need to do? This is the key. You need accountability. You need that weekly appointment where you're going to meet up and go, okay, here's what I said I would do. Here's what I did. Here's what I didn't do, okay? And when you have that weekly appointment, that is the kind of accountability that you, that you need to reach your financial goals, okay? <clears throat> and here's another interesting detail. You're going to be more successful if your accountability partner is someone that you greatly respect or admire. So if your accountability partner is somebody who is successful, has the success you want, maybe they're a CEO, maybe they're a coach, uh, someone whose opinion you respect, then you're going to be more committed to your goal. There's a study in the Journal of Applied Psychology that shows that sharing your goal with someone you really respect makes you more likely to stay committed and achieve it, partly because you don't want to let that person down, right? So this is the formula that we need to be successful, okay? And this is exactly why I started the club. So the club is called We Should All Be Millionaires, the club. The club is my business coaching and education membership program where you will have access to the accountability that you need to give you a 95% chance or better of hitting your goal and generating your 100K in 60 days. And as you saw from all the stories of my clients that I shared earlier, this shit works. Put it plain and simple, okay? <laughs> This shit works, all right? So I wanna tell you about um, what you get as a club member. As a club member, here is the process that you're gonna go through, all right? So as a club member, you will set new business goals every quarter. Um, <clears throat> why is this not working? There you go. You will have a timeline for those goals, right? So you're gonna set a new business goal every quarter. You will have a timeline for reaching those goals. Um, you will have a money generating plan for those goals that actually works. You will share those goals with me, our coaches, and your fellow members. You will have multiple weekly group coaching calls where you can check in, ask questions, and get support. That accountability check-in, all right? And all of those things add up to a 95% likelihood to achieve your goal. This is exactly how we structure, how we support our community. And this is why people get incredible results. This is why I was able to share all of those stories about our clients. And there's so many more. I mean, we literally have a bank of testimonials that we have a database because it is so enormous. It's an air table, which is the software we use to manage the amount of success stories that have come out of this program. It, it truly works. Um, and it's, it's amazing. So um, your 100K and 60 day plan includes three steps that you need to take, right? Get your mind right, create your 100K offer, and then sell your 100K offer. So I want to show you how the club will help you take all three of those steps easily and with a ton of support that makes it feel simple, all right? And that makes it faster for you. So number one, to get your mind right, here's what the club includes. Um, you get access to We Should All Be Millionaires, the course. This is the companion course to my best-selling book. In this course, we're teaching you the exact action steps, mindset shifts, helping you to do the thought work that we talked about earlier, helping you to believe in yourself, um, coaching questions, affirmations, all kinds of things that help you uncover the root of some of these beliefs that you have in your mind, and also systems to track your finances, to improve your environment, and all of the things, okay? Um, to create your vision for your life and actually see it happen. So that's one of the ways that we help you get your mind right. We also have something that we call Money Church. It happens every week. So you will have a standing appointment with our team of coaches who will help you get your mind right every week, who will coach you on whatever those things that are coming up that are preventing you from moving forward. This is the value of a coach. I still have a coach for the same reasons because we can know what to do, but we find ourselves getting stuck and not doing it. And it's that weekly standing appointment where you're, you're, 
either getting coached yourself or listening to other people be coached and you're re being reminded of who you are and what you're capable of, right? Being reminded of what your goals are and why you're doing this in the first place. And that propels you forward into momentum and you start to see action and results, okay? Um, the other thing that we have is Shmili social hour that happens every month. I think it even happens twice a month, right? These are my besties, right? This is Robert and Susan who are um, my closest friends. We have a group chat going every day. We are connected every day and they have businesses as well. And we support each other all the time. And so I want that for you as well. So we have a Shmili social hour so that you have a whole crew of people who here doesn't have a lot of people in their life that cheer them on. Maybe people think your entrepreneurial plan is crazy, or maybe you feel like you can't talk about your business to other people because they don't get it. And they're like, why don't you just get a job, right? That's really discouraging. And that can really slow us down if we're hearing that all the time. That's why you need community. That's why you need fellow Schmillies, which is short for Schmillionaire. That's what we call our club members, <laughs> um, to support you and to remind you who you are and what's, what you're capable of every week. All right, so that's how we help you get your mind right. Let's talk about how the club will help you create your 100K offer. So we have a program in the club called the Grow Scale Course. In this course, we are giving you a step-by-step -step process for how to create your offer at every level, right? And how to scale your offer, how to start to hire employees, how to employ even more, um, you know, more sales systems, improving your sales system, analyzing that sales funnel to make it even better, doing 1% tweaks to grow, right? Providing you with check, uh, checklists, templates, like whatever it is that you need to help you grow from your current business level to the next. So this shows you a little bit about how it works. So when you start, you start out and you might be at zero, or some of you might already be making 50,000 a year, or some of you might be already making $100,000 a year and you're trying to go from there. Wherever you're starting, this is where you would slot into the growth scale at your current business level. So whatever your revenue level is, anywhere from zero to 3 million, you're gonna go into the growth scale at the level that is appropriate for you and learn the exact things you need to learn to help your business grow at that level, okay? Um, so it is, um, I, I know of no program out there that is so specific to the level that you are at as a business owner. And this is rooted in research and years of experience, okay? That makes it easier. You don't have to guess what your next move should be. It tells you exactly what your next move should be. Um, this is one of our clients, Marianne, who said that the Grow Scale program alone is worth even more than what she paid for the entire membership, all right? Um, okay, so the other way that we help you create your offer is with monthly business coaching with me. So I just did a coaching call yesterday in the club, and I was, like I said, brainstorming offers, strategizing offers, um, helping people figure out how to improve their sales funnel, um, helping people figure out how to increase their prices, right? How to reach more people. Um, and so this is one of our, one of my clients, and this is a screenshot of me coaching her. <laughs> so that happens every month. You also get business coaching with the Hello7 leadership team. So you get coached by our chief marketing officer. You got marketing questions, he can answer them. You get coached by the president of Hello7 who has been by my side helping me build, build this business for the last five years. Marketing, sales, mindset, hiring, team, operations, whatever your questions are, she knows the answers. We also have, um, you get access to calls with Will Need, who is our director of HR. You get access to Greg, who is our systems director. So for all of your tech questions, right? The technical stuff that you tend to get stuck on, okay? Um, so here's how the club helps you sell your 100K offer. To help you sell your 100K offer, we have this incredible community. Um, we Should All Be Millionaires Facebook group, okay? It has over 2,000 members. And in this community, you get access to an entire network. So remember when I said, when I put my offer out there, I had no network. Well, guess what? When you join the club, you instantly have a network. And once you're Schmilly, we are here to support you, to love on you. You ask your questions. I'm going to answer. All of these folks are going to answer. You'll get answered from fellow coaches as well. And so now you're in this mastermind of brilliance, okay, that you get access to, that you can ask your questions and get support. Not only do you get support from this community, um, and the other thing too, one of the, my favorite things about this community is you're going to see people in there winning. So these testimonials that I shared, most of them are coming directly from the Facebook group where people are sharing like, hey, I just did this and I made all this money, right? And so when you see that every day, 
that's going to shift your mind and help you to realize that you absolutely can do the same thing. So it just creates momentum for you with the community. But the other thing is you have the opportunities to promote your stuff among club members. So you get to tell club members about the offer. Okay, we do different posts throughout the month where you get to share what you're working on. You get to tell people about what it is that you're selling and you may find other Schmillies who want to buy your stuff. Schmillies buy from other Schmillies all the time. Okay, so this is one of the ways that you now have a network of people who uh, might become clients for you and you might become clients of theirs. Um, you also have the Hello7 member directory. So you can um, fill out your profile, um, tell people about your work and what you do. You can um, plug in a link to your offer or your opt-in, your landing page. And so when people are looking for a lawyer or they're looking for a graphic designer or they're looking for a parenting coach or they're looking for whatever gifts to give to their clients right and they want to see what physical products people sell whatever it is when people are looking for a resource or something they come to the membership directory and they find people like you right and so it's another opportunity for you to get your stuff in front of a network of people the other thing is you will find schmillies everywhere we have schmillies in australia in the uk all over the us um, really around the world in different places, in Ghana, in, um, in China, right? We have Schmillies everywhere. And so you may find Schmillies that live in your community, especially in the US and Canada, North America, even in the UK. I'm doing a speaking gig next month in the UK and there's a whole bunch of Schmillies from over there who are coming. So wherever you live, you'll be able to find Schmillies that live in your neighborhood, which I think is really important. And then we do the 10K in 10 days challenge and that's happening next month. And so that's an opportunity to sell where we all sell together so we do this sales strategy um, and we teach you how to sell um, and everybody's doing it at the same time so it just creates all of this like fever of momentum for everybody and the last time we did the challenge uh, we made a lot of money as a community. We measure this, so we do a survey at the end of every challenge to see how much did people make, okay? Um, so this is one of our clients, Angela Matthews, who made $21,000 in 10 days when she did the 10K in 10 days challenge with us. And we're doing it again as a community in June. Um, so guess how much we made the last time we did the 10K in 10 days challenge? Feel free to put your guess in the chat. I'd love to hear what number, how much money do you think we made as a community together? Um, a million, 890,000, I love how specific that is, 300,000, 570,000, 60 million, <laughs> uh, 7 million, all the things. Okay, here's how much we made. We made $3.5 million as a community. And that's not with every member participating. We had hundreds of members participating, but not all thousands of members participating. And so everybody made money. And even if they didn't make money, they wound up growing. They had all kinds of ahas about what was not working in their business and were able to fix it, right? So, but so many of our members make so much money. I mean, we've had people make hundreds of thousands of dollars in 10 days. Um, and sometimes people make their first $5,000 or their first $10,000 in 10 days. So that is an opportunity for you. Um, and if you decide to join the club today, you can literally make back the cost of your membership and then some in the month of June. So within 30 days, you can see a return on that investment. And this is what happened to one of our clients, Fila. She joined the club and literally within the next month, she had earned more than she paid for the club, which is what, I, that's my goal. I wanna see you have a full 100% plus return. I wanna see you have a 1000% return on the investment that you make in the club, okay? So there are a couple of options to join the club. You can join as a quarterly member. If you just wanna try it, you can join for three months. Um, and you know, work on your 10, your 100K in 60 days, and you get access to everything as a quarterly member. So there's nothing that we take away. It's just some bonuses that you won't get access to as a quarterly member. You could join as a yearly member. When you join as a yearly member, you get um, some bonuses um, and the cost is a little bit less when you join for the whole year. And then you know you're working with us for the whole year and we're gonna help you make just as much money as all of these other clients that I've just shared. Or if you've decided you're the type of person who wants more support um, and you know you wanna go all in, you could join as a lifetime member, which means you pay once and you never ever pay again. So you don't have to renew next year or anything like that. And if you choose to do that, you get to do a two-day mastermind event with me. I'm doing a mastermind retreat for all of our lifetime members. 
um, and you get to come and spend two days with me and the leadership um, from Hello7, and we're going to coach you and help you work on your business. So that's a bonus that you get if you choose the lifetime. But the annual is amazing. Probably majority of our clients actually are annual members, but you can do quarterly or lifetime too. You choose what works for you. Okay. And here's the beautiful thing. If you want to do a payment plan, we actually provide financing. So we've partnered with this amazing company called WiseBank, where you can get a payment plan, payments as low as 300 a month um, for your uh, membership. All right, so you get to pay at your own pace. They have different options. You can pay over three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. Um, and WiseBank charges you no finance charges, okay? We absorb the finance charges at Hello7 so that it's just the cost of the, the membership spread out right so we want to make it easy and accessible for you to purchase and so um, if you want to join us you can do so through wise bank and you know provide financing all right so i got a couple more things to share and then i'm gonna give you the link so <laughs> mary angelica joined the club in 2021 and grew her business from thirty thousand dollars to over two hundred thousand dollars in the space of 12 months um, another one of our clients jilly johnston went from an average of four thousand dollars per month that's how much she was making to $10,000 per month. Okay. And all that growth just happened in one year. All right. So she had her first six figure year after joining the club. This is another one of our clients who is a writing coach. And she said that just one single tip that she learned from one of the courses in the club enabled her to bring in an extra $50,000 in additional revenue. Okay. So yes. Here is, uh, this is Sarah, who went from zero dollars, she was just starting out her business, she read the book, joined the club, within a year, she had a six-figure business and got her business to $100,000, um, doing a healthy meal service, that's what her business is, so it's amazing, and you can get these similar results, so here's the link, if you would like to join the club, you go to hello7.co slash club, um, we don't keep enrollment open all the time. It's open for a limited time. So get in there if you know you want to join. Um, and I've got some bonuses for you. I remember I told you about the million dollar request scripts at the beginning. So let's talk about the bonuses that you can get. Okay. So if you decide to join now during this webinar, we have a fast action bonus that is these million dollar scripts. All right. These are 15 scripts to ask for what you want at work and at home and get it. These scripts are like one of the most popular resources in the club that people are constantly talking about um, because they work. Okay, so remember I showed you this slide earlier. Um, just script number four um, helped Bianca close a new client, right? These are scripts that you can use to send an email to a past client that you wanna hire you again, um, to reach out and pitch a, a new client. Um, it could be, you know, a sales call that you want to do, and it's a script for how to do the sales call. It could be you want your your partner to share the chores around the house a little bit better. There's a script for that. There's a script for saying no. Who here struggles sometimes to put boundaries in place and say no? We got a script for that. We are going to help you say no <laughs> so you can protect your time, okay? So we have scripts for so many different things, um, and they really, really work. People love them, and this is one of our favorite resources, and you get it for free if you decide to join the club right now. Um, we also have a couple other bonuses. If you join at the annual level or the lifetime level, you get this software bundle. And you know what? Screw it. I'm going to actually say everybody gets this. So even if you um, join at the quarterly level, I'm going to give this to you as well. So you get this money making software bundle. So remember earlier, I showed you that um, 100K funnel, right? ConvertKit is the easiest software you can use to create that funnel, to have email marketing, to deliver an opt-in, to have a nurture sequence. They even have built-in scripts for nurture sequences, so you don't have to work that hard to write those emails. Um, you can collect money through ConvertKit, so if you don't currently have a system for people to pay you outside of sending you a wire or mailing you a check, Okay, you can accept payments online through ConvertKit. So it is what I recommend. I love it so much. I'm an investor in this company. So this is an email marketing tool that I highly recommend that you use. It's going to help you sell and set up that selling system really quick and easy. And then another company that I'm an investor in and love is Hello Audio, which is a company that helps you set up an audio course or a private podcast feed that you can use in your marketing or to deliver a service, right? Audio is really hot right now and really, really popular popular. So highly, highly recommend it. So you're going to get free access to both of these for a limited time. Um, so you get 60 days in Hello Audio, you get 30 days in ConvertKit. Um, and so you'll be able to use these tools, set them up, start seeing money coming in. And then after that, you can start paying for them in the future. Okay. So those are the two softwares that we highly recommend to make it easy for you. 
Here are a couple more stories from our clients. This is our client, Nicole, who quit her job after six months from joining the community. So she joined the community, I wanna say in May, and by December, she had quit her job. That's how much money she had brought in. So her income she had booked was $220,000. And that's why she was like, hey, I don't need this job anymore, I quit. <laughs> and so now she's going for her million dollar year this year. And then another one of our clients, Julia, who hit 100K in revenue for the year after joining the club. Um, and so, you know, the stories are just endless, one after the other, as I said. And I share them with you because I want you to know that this is real and that it works, okay? And that you can get these results as well. It is not something that is not available to you. It absolutely is. You just have to make a decision, right? And yes, you can do it on your own, but it is going to be slower. It's going to be a little harder. You're going to have questions along the way. You're going to need support. You're going to have times where you're struggling to believe in yourself or you're struggling with an aspect of what you need to do. And we can provide that support to you. You, okay, so today I promise to teach you how to make 100K in 60 days, right? To build the skill of making quick money in your business, okay? That's what I want you to do. So we talked about um, believing and your mindset. We talked about creating that 100K offer, and then we talked about your 100K sales funnel, all right? So I created that plan for you, right? I want to make sure you see that I delivered what I said I was going to do. <laughs> all right, so now it's hot seat time, okay? So um, if you've dropped a chat, uh, dropped a question in the Q&A and you want to ask me a question, here's your opportunity. All right. So my team is going to take over and tell me who has asked a question. We're going to choose three people that I'm going to coach right now. OK. And so when you ask your question, you're just going to say, hi, Rachel. Right. <laughs> my name is tell me your name. And my question is, OK, don't give me all the backstory. Just say my question is because that's going to help you to say a little faster. And then if I need background info, I will ask you those questions and then coach you and give you an answer. OK, so that's what we're doing right now. So, um, team, let me know who, who's up first to get coached. First is Sephora Bray. OK, and I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Hi, Sephora. Hi, Rachel. How are you? I am amazing. How are you? Good. My name is Sephora. Uh, my question is, how do I change my business model to not compromise my value, but still reach my ideal target audience and collect what I know that I am worth? Yes. Okay. So how do you feel like you're compromising your value right now in your business model? So I'm an attorney. Um, yes. One of the reasons why I was very inspired by you after reading your book. And I do law school success coaching and also admissions Ooh. coaching. And so my target audience is pretty much students, you know, straight out of undergrad or only a couple years out who are going into law school. Yes. Um, I went to a, a highly ranked law school, graduated top of my class, two federal clerkships, big law, all the, all the work. So I know you, my you did all the things. You checked all, all the boxes. The things. All the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, I've created a model where I can teach people how to do those same things, but yes. I also recognize that my value maybe doesn't necessarily correlate with what undergraduate students are able to pay. And okay. so my question is kind of how do I still scale my business while not say like, for example, charging a thousand dollars for four months worth of work, yeah. um, but still being able to help those that target audience in that fresh out of undergrad arena. Okay, so question for you, how much are you charging right now and how much do you wanna be charging? So right now I do one-on-ones and actually after going through your framework, finesse your flagship in the club, I'm working on a membership community. But so with my one-on-ones, the lowest is 2.5K and that's for about four months. And then the okay. highest is 10,000 and that is for two years. And <laughs> Yes, exactly. Uh -uh. Right. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're currently charging 2,500 to 10,000, depending on what level they choose. What do you want to be charging? What do you think it's actually worth? I mean, for two years worth of work, I mean, that's definitely double, um, in terms of like, even the four months, if I were to, for example, give that same level. Okay. Okay. But here's the thing I want to stop you from doing. We're not justifying yeah. the price. The price right. is what the price is. We don't need an explanation for why is that. It just is right. because you're worth that, right? I want you to get comfortable just owning that. This is what it costs. And that's mm -hmm. that on that, right? I have a mastermind that I run and my mastermind is $100,000 to join. 
And you know what? It's 100% worth it. And, you know, when I first started selling it at that price point, it was a little scary, but I just had to keep saying it. It's $100,000 and just sit into it, feel it, feel the discomfort and just sit with it, right? And own the fact that you are worth that and what you have to deliver is worth that. And of course you have to show, you have to show and prove that you're worth that, right? And I'll talk to you a little bit about that, but you don't have to, like when you say your price, you gotta own it. Cause if you don't own it in the first place, no one's going to pay it. OK, if you pay somebody a lot of money, you want them to feel 100 percent confident that they can get you the results. So if you're showing up with like shaky energy about your price, it's going to scare. They're going to run screaming, right? Because they're going to be like, she's not even confident when she said that number. So I, I don't feel confident paying it. Right. So just make sure you're owning it when you say the price. OK, so now tell us what the price is that you want it to be. Minimum double 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 everything so the lowest <laughs> offer right now is 2.5 that should be five grand um mm -hmm. the middle offer is five grand it should be 10 and yes. the 10 grand should be 20. excellent so let's go ahead and double your prices all right and then here's the thing that i want you to do i want you to double every single one of those prices in the next consult that you have i want you to say it's five thousand dollars okay and then if it's you know it's if it's the middle level it's ten thousand if it's the biggest level, it's $20,000, okay? So just say the price and get comfortable saying it. And then here's the other thing that you need to do. Show people what you can do, right? Show people what the value is. Don't assume they know. You are the expert, right? They're the customer. They don't necessarily know what you know. So you got to tell them. So explaining to them, here's the value of a clerkship on your resume. Here's the value of a top tier law school on your resume. Um, here are the law firm opportunities and the salaries that go with them that you will earn here let me show you um, a lawyer who's graduated from law school 10 years later versus you know who went to a top tier school who got the big law firm job versus a lawyer who didn't do that right and let me show you what their lifetime earnings look like right you got to break the numbers down for them and show them like look i'm creating millions of dollars of value for you over the course of your career and you're gonna pay me this five thousand and you're gonna be happy to do it all right before i double it again <laughs> Okay, now I want you to put some stank on it and own that energy, all right? Own the value that you create. You just listed your resume for me. I'm convinced, right? And so make sure that you are approaching it with that energy when you talk to customers and you're gonna see less price resistance because they're gonna see like, oh, she's badass and I wanna be badass like her, so let me go and learn, okay? And the thing is, is don't worry about what I call OPP, other people's pockets. That's not your business, all okay? right? Your business is building a successful company, all right? Your business is not how much undergrads have or don't have. They're going to law school. They're about to take on six figures in student loans. If they can figure that out, they can figure out where to find $5,000 so you can teach them how to be successful, okay? That's right. That's that's and and that the last part of that question. That's all I needed to hear because I was gonna follow up and say, but what about the undergrads? So you <laughs> answered me without me even, you know, without yes. me even asking. Listen, they could go to mom and dad, they could take out a loan, they could put it on a credit card. I mean, trust me, there are so many things that a recent college graduate will buy, a car, all kinds of stuff that will not provide as much value as learning with you how to get through law school successfully. I wish I had you. I would have 100% spent that money. And trust me, I'm resourceful. I would have found a way, <laughs> okay? I, would, I was broke as a joke, <laughs> but I would have found that money, trust me, so that I could learn how to be successful because I didn't have anyone in my family or anyone who had gone to um, you know, grad school of any kind. I didn't have anybody to give me guidance. I didn't know what I was doing. I had to figure it out. So having somebody like you, you are a mentor to them. You're going to help them see more success. That's amazing. So you got to own that and just charge what you need to charge. Okay. I agree. Thank you so much, Rachel. Amazing as always. <laughs> You're so welcome. You are amazing. Okay. All right, Rachel, who's next? Dr. Julie Shaw. Hello. Hi. Julia. Hi. Um, so yes, my name is Dr. Julie Shaw and I am just starting out my business. Hello, I'm grieving and it's centered around grief. And so what types of offers, ways, programs would you recommend to grow the business and most importantly, charge the higher ticket programs when people may look down on charging for grief? 
Yes. Okay. So listen, whatever it is, if they, if someone was going to a therapist because they were grieving, they would be paying that therapist. Right. And no one would look at that therapist and be like, why aren't you working for free? So how are you any different? Right. Um, it's the same thing. You're providing a service and just, unfortunately, this is how our world works, right? (laughs) We don't have a different type of economy set up and it's not our responsibility to set we didn't set up this economy okay we're just here trying to pay our rent all right (laughs) and take care take good care of ourselves so just let all that whole story go but here's what i would tell you to think about i want you to go back to that 100k offer right so Mm -hmm. what can you do that would be scalable what can you do that would be rooted in your strengths what's going to provide the transformation that your customer is looking for okay and what is in demand right from your customer so when you think about those four characteristics like what comes to mind what's what's something that you would love to offer well what i would love to offer right now is a challenge i was thinking about the even the funnel that you were mentioning is i wanted to do whether it was a 30-day challenge and offer that and put that together but where my strengths are is i'm already currently a consultant and facilitator so i teach to fortune 500 companies but i want to transfer that skill into the grief sector and be able to educate people about grief but that transformation piece in that fourth quadrant really spoke to me is yes through my own grief experiences being able to help transform people to be able to grow with their grief Yes. I mean, it's a, it's definitely a needed service. So when you say you want to start a challenge, remember a challenge is a sales event. So it might be something that people even pay you for, but it's really, it's not what you're really selling. It might be something that they pay you for. They get an experience. They get to sort of try you out. And then from there, they choose to purchase your service. Right. And so, um, what is the thing? Like, what would you sell at the end of a challenge that you did with folks? What is the service that you're going to sell? Is it like one-on-one coaching? Is it small groups? Is it a retreat? Kind of getting them out, them out of their environment? What would that look like, the offer that you want to create? Yeah, I would love to do courses. I would love to do courses. I mean, I kind of want to do all the above. That's the big thing. <laughs> I, want, yes. I want the big vision to do it all, to be able to have these retreats and to sell those bigger items and to create that community. Okay. But you know, my skills are in education right now and teaching. Amazing. So you can match, right? Like your experience with grief and your knowledge of that with your incredible experience as a trainer and educator. And you know for a fact that there, that, you know, uh, grief counseling, grief support, support for grieving people is something that is absolutely in demand. It will always be in demand because it's a part of life, right? And how can you, (laughs) right. And how can you, how can you transform people, right? Where they can start to feel alive again, right? Mm -hmm. And moving past some of the grief that they're experiencing or learning to live with their grief. Cause I really Correct. think that's actually Correct. what it is. Yeah. And so it's, so I love the course because the course is one to many it's scalable. So I want you to, here's the thing, choose one thing. You got to focus. Okay. okay? okay. So yeah. decide that you're going to create a course. What I want to encourage you to do is, um, put your plan together for what the course is going to be and pre-sell it, sell it before you create the course. So just teach it live the first time. And you can say, meet me online. You could do zoom or however you want to do it. Meet me online at this time once a week. And I'm going to take you through my six step process. Right. And, you know, each week they will meet with you. However many, it could be six weeks, eight weeks, however long you want it to be. And just tell people the class is happening from these dates to these dates, Mm. the time where we're meeting, you could get the recordings. If you're not able to join us live, Live. Here's the transformation you are going to experience by the end of this program. Put a price tag on it and sell it. <laughs> okay. So that's what, what I want you to do. Tag, though? What is that price tag? What, what do you want it to tag? be? What do you want it to be? And what do you feel it's worth? Oh gosh. I want it to be somewhere between two to 500, but I mean, $200 to $500. Yeah. Is that what you feel it's worth? For one course, one course. See, this is <laughs> okay. So here's with. the thing: nobody's buying a course. We okay. don't buy courses. We don't care. We don't buy stuff. We buy the transformation, right? Like, for example, the people who are joining the club right now, they weren't. They're not buying the fact that I have this membership community. They don't care about this membership community. You know what they care about? They're themselves and their goals. They're buying success. They're buying increasing their revenue, right? They're they're buying growing their business. They're buying the result. So make sure that when you are talking about the course, it's not about the course. 
a course in and of itself is not the value. The value is in the result people are going to see from the course. And that's what provides the transformation. And that is what people want to pay for. So yeah. make sure when you're talking about the course, you're really talking about the transformation that they are going to experience at the end. And so when you price it, you want to price it based on the transformation. What is it worth, right, to learn how to live with your grief mm -hmm. so that you can feel joy again, right? Be happy again. Learn how to live with this heavy feeling, uh, this experience that you've now had, right? So um, that is incredibly valuable, I would imagine, and I think worth a lot more than five hundred dollars. So okay. I want to encourage you, like, price it at something that scares you a little bit. Like, oh, okay, all of this scares me, but I love it. And <laughs> I'm going to get our, I already booked your ROI summit, so yay! I'm so glad you're coming to, to work awesome. on this. So I have something to come with there. Yes, yes. Well, listen, when we get to ROI, we're going to celebrate all these courses that you done sold. Okay? <laughs> okay, so make sure that you get out there and start selling it. Okay, okay, awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, who's next? Last but not least. We've got Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi, Rachel. How are you? Amazing. How are you? Brilliant. I'm brilliant. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm calling from all the way from the UK. Um, so my name is Lorraine and my question is, how do I refine my messaging to what people want, to, um, to include what people want and what they need as well? Yes. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Um, so Lorraine's question is, how do I refine my messaging? So what you're going to do is I want you to sit and brainstorm, have a brainstorming session, just put it on your calendar, spend some time doing it. And I want you to really think about what keeps your client up at night. What are they stressed about? What's overwhelming them right now? What would, what do they wish somebody would just be their fairy godmother and come along and solve for, for them, right? And within your arena, right, within the work that you do, what do you know your client is stressed about, is bothered by, is a problem that they're wanting to solve really badly, a problem that they're wanting to um, spend money to solve. Um, it, and you can think about what's happening in the world right now that's relevant to what your client might be feeling, right? And so you just brainstorm what are all those things that are top of mind for my client? What is my client experiencing right now? You sort of put yourself in the shoes of your client um, and just have empathy for them, right? Have empathy for where they're at and, and where they are along their journey. And then I want you to write down 24 different things that you believe that they are experiencing that you've heard in, in, in conversations you've had with them that you've read about in the news, right? Like just things that you think they are struggling with and then create those 24 topics. And then I want you to create 24 pieces of content related to that. And then you can release those pieces of content every week, three pieces of content per week when you're doing your 100K in 60 days challenge, okay? And so that's how you're gonna improve your messaging is putting yourself in the shoes of your client and speaking to what's top of mind for them, speaking to what's, what's current in the world right now related to the work that you do, okay? So for example, you saw how during this class, during this webinar, I brought in the New York Times article that just came out last Sunday, right? Reminding my clients like, this is what's going on in the world, right? Wealth is being, kept within this small community and we need to get some of it for ourselves we need to spread the wealth because that's the only way that we're going to create equity that's the only way we're going to uh, elect politicians that represent our interests right and so i'm taking something that is current right now that many people have seen already and i'm connecting it back to why are we doing this right why is this work important and so that's what i want you to do in your content as well and you will find that people are paying a lot of attention to it does that help lorraine yeah, that really does help in terms of the social media aspect of it. The reason why yes. I was asking is because I recently launched um, my program. Um, I'd done a webinar and I had quite a lot of interest. Yes. Um, and But not a lot of people actually bought into the program. So I was wondering it. My well, I was reflecting and I assumed that it was the messaging that mm. the transformation, as you put it, maybe wasn't as reflected. Yes. Um, because people... I, I suppose, weren't seeing the value in the program, even though they, they saw the value in attending the um, the actual webinar. Um, yes. And I had what I felt was a good market, marketing strategy um, with my funnels as well. So, um, yeah, that's why I was asking. Yes. And so think about like, you know, in your opt-in, like one of the things that I'm doing right now is this 30-day series on Instagram called Recession Revenue, where I just do quick one to two minute videos every single day giving a tip, right? A business tip that's like how to generate revenue during a recession. 
Um, and so that's one way that I'm adding value. It has grown my Instagram over the last couple of weeks um, that I've been doing it. And so like, that's a strategy that you could use just, you know, speaking to like, giving a tip about the thing that you teach on every single day. Okay. And then the other thing is, if there's any part of the funnel that we talked about today that you haven't already set up, go back and revisit it because what you want to do is like warm people up before they're even having a sales call with you before they're making a buying decision. You want them to get emails from you. You want them to see some of your success stories. You want them to see content from you, right? And like, it's a relationship. It's like dating, right? If you meet someone off the street, you're not gonna give them your number. You're not taking them home on day one. I mean, some of us might, but you know, less likely, right? Usually it's some conversations happen over time. You get to know them over time. And the more you get to know them, the more comfortable you feel, and then you're ready to escalate. Right. And so that's what you want to think about. How can you create those touch points? And that's what that sales funnel, that's the whole point of it to create enough touch points and make those touch points really relevant, right? With the stories and the case studies and showing people the results, the transformation is what you want to focus on. And that's what's going to help them say yes when you present that opportunity to buy. Lovely. Thank you so much, Rachel. You're so welcome. And thank you for staying up late to hang with us. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um okay y'all well this was amazing i hope y'all have fun because like i said i certainly did all right um so if you haven't yet please join the club we would love to welcome you into our community and help you make 100k in the next 60 days um, help you grow your business help you set up your sales funnel you get coaching like we just did um with our um hot seat participants i do that every month in the club. And I also have a team of coaches who are coaching every single week in the club. So if you want that support and community, if you wanna be a part of that professional network, make sure that you join us. It will help you go faster, I promise. Um, and you will likely see the return on that investment next month when we do the 10K in 10 days challenge in the club. So thank you for joining me. Um, I hope that you feel inspired and motivated and trust that you can do this and you can get the results that you're looking for.